Well, it certainly is nice to have some furry friends around the house during times like these. And joining us now is the Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Baltimore Humane Society, Kate Pika. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate you having me here. So the Baltimore Humane Society, a lot of people might not know, but it's still open right now. That's correct. We are actually open for a number of things. Um, first off, and the biggest thing is everyone knows, adoptions are going up across the country. And that's a fabulous thing for us um, and all of the shelters around us. Um, we are open by appointment only, which means that what we're asking people to do is we're asking them to go online, take a look at the animals that we have available for adoption, um, fill out the online application. What we do is we pre-approve those. We do do a background check. We do do a reference check. We'll call, we'll set up an appointment with them to come in. We ask them to select one or two of the animals that they'd like to meet and have that on the application. And then they get some one-on-one -on -one time to figure out what's gonna work for them. That's great. So they're doing all this beforehand, sort of narrowing down their choices a little bit and then seeing if it's the right fit. Well, it's all about the CDC guidelines for social distancing. And what this allows us to do is to have one person in the dog kennels, one person in the, the kittery or the cat area, and one person in the small animal area at a time so that there is no opportunity for people to have to be too close together. It makes a lot of sense. And it's great that you guys are being mindful of that. Also being mindful of people that have already adopted animals and might need a little bit more help. You have a pet food bank that I know just got a sizable gift. Tell us about what the pet food bank does, who it's for, and about this gift that you just got. Well, the Be More Kind Pet Food Bank has been around for quite some time. And we have always asked on a regular basis for the community to help keep it stocked. Um, it's really, really important at this point because we have so many people that have lost their jobs or have been temporarily furloughed. And because of that, we're seeing a, a rise of about 20% in the need of assistance. Um, we're getting a lot more phone calls than we did. So um, we are there. We ask again, it's by appointment, just like everything else. If you do need assistance, all you have to do is call 410-833-8848. And extension two, that will hook you up with someone at our desk who can take your information. It's contactless delivery. Um, we have a system set up so that we actually come load your car, you're all set to go, and we're done. Perfect. So um, that's the, now the, the best part of all of this is that as all of this was happening with the pandemic, um, we were asking for donations and we got a really surprise nice one. And what that was is that. The Reuben and Violet Gigi Foundation um, donated $10,000 to make sure that that pet food bank stayed stocked throughout all of this. Oh, wow. And we couldn't have asked for a better gift. What a wonderful gift. That is really, really generous. And I know a lot of pets and families are appreciative of that. And, well, and that's we the thing. Um, it's not just, it's not about us. It's about them. It's about our community. It's about the family that we take care of. Absolutely. And we can help take care of many more families because coming up this weekend, you have a fundraiser and it's a little different this year because of social distancing. It is a virtual online fundraiser. Tell us more about that. It is our first ever Be More Ready virtual 5K and fun run. <laughs> and it is something completely different. It's um, a wild dream we came up with and there's never been anything like it. And what we are asking folks to do is go register and it's simply at bemoregorun.givesmart.com and get signed up. Every day we have exercise videos, we have um, pet care and behavior videos for your dog. We have a recipe of the day, all sorts of healthy things that you can make along the way. And we want you to participate and engage and we want you to you know, send us pictures as you're learning to like walk your dog. And we're, we're asking you to send pictures of you cooking these things. Um, it's, there's also contests involved. We've got a biggest couch potato. We've got the best kisser. We've got a pet owner lookalike. And the fun of this event is that you don't need to be a runner. You don't need to be a walker. You honestly can just sign up and sleep in with your pet. If your pet's too lazy to run, go ahead, register anyway. It goes to a good cause. And you can just tune into Facebook and, and, and watch all the fun on Sunday because Sunday is the day, 9 a.m., that it all kicks off. I love it. There's something for every pet personality type. And I also know that there's a raffle. We have a little clip. I want to play that now. Okay. Oh, boy. My mom. 
Mommy just told me there are 50-50 raffle tickets for the Be More Humane Virtual 5K and Fun Run. I'm so excited. I'm doing all my tricks. Oh, good job. Okay, enough of that. Here's the skinny on the raffle tickets. One ticket is just $20, but here's a better deal. Buy six for $100. All the money goes to such a good cause, the Baltimore Humane Society. I hope you can join me to walk or run on April 26th and make sure to buy your 50-50 raffle ticket. You could win lots of treats. <laughs> I mean, money, silly me. You are so funny. Good boy. All right, so tell me more about this raffle. Well, the 50-50 raffle was originally supposed to be part of our Black Tie Gala, which, of course, because of the situation, was canceled. Right. And so you can win up to $4,999, um, depending upon, of course, how many people actually enter. Okay, Pike, and thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate it. And good luck with all of your fundraisers. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. 